this video, I'm going to show you what I would argue against anybody is the most underrated running back route in Madden 22. Now, if you are new to this channel, I want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And I also want to let you know that I just released a major update to my Trips Tied In ebook in the Patreon membership. If you've not joined the Patreon membership, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. You can sign up for just $10 a month. And for just $10 a month, you're going to unlock the entire membership, which includes all 15 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides, any updates to those guides, exclusive tips throughout the week, and a ton of, uh, a ton of other content that I think can really help you become a better player. So if you're looking to get better the game check out the patreon i'm going to put a link in the description of this video if you want to check that out now uh, i want to talk today about a route that i have just started using and it's actually insanely effective and uh, to do so i'm actually going to use um the play curl flat uh, to talk about this route but you can actually do it out of any play uh, it's just a simple hot route and what it is is it is the hot route uh, streak to the running back. Now, the way that I like to run this is I actually like to utilize this as a seam uh, attacker. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to go ahead and streak uh, Chris Godwin just like that right there. And then I like the backside go ahead and just drag Mike Evans underneath the formation. So you see this is kind of what the play art will look like. And then what we're going to do defensively, I'm just going to run through a couple of the coverages. The number one coverage that this is really, really good for is a cover three blitz, um, something like this right here. And what you're going to see is typically in a cover three blitz, they're going to play hard flats. And so this little pressure release route right here, you can just cut this route off. You can trust the route as long as he has um, inside position, he is going to be able to be very, very effective um, in this uh, in this concept. Now I'm going to show you a cover zero blitz here. This is just a heavy, uh, heavy, heavy uh, pressure. Let me make sure I've got somebody in coverage on him. We're going to put this middle linebacker here in coverage, but just a heavy blitz. And again, same basic uh, route combo. And what you're going to see is as soon as he gets underneath that man coverage, we're going to low ball it. And you see that that is going to allow us to get a back shoulder uh, catching animation. Now, cover two man is probably the hardest, in my opinion, to uh, hit this against. But you don't get a lot of cover two man this year. But if you did, you're going to see right here, we're just going to hit the corner route to the tight end. Typically that, because again, if you're getting cover two man, they pretty much have to have like it has to be almost like a drop eight type of look and really often times what you're going to do i mean you're going to be able to hit this corner route now this route to the back again once he kind of turns his hips you can low ball that route but it's just not something you want to hit like immediately now what about cover one robber cover one robber is kind of the hottest man coverage in the community a lot of people are running this coverage i personally am running this coverage as well very very good man coverage what i'm going to show you though is he's going to get inside position and you're going to low ball and dot him up so this running back real uh, uh not wheel uh streak is really really good um against the blitz against man coverage <clears throat> and then zone coverage you can actually throw it and kind of cut it off just like that Another thing that we can do with this, though, again, zone coverage, is it allows us now uh, with zone coverage, you're going to notice that your route to your tight end corner is oftentimes going to be wide open if they're playing zone, unless they're playing the uh, everybody's favorite defense in Madden 22, Mike Blitz 3 with double flats. So if they're playing Mike Blitz 3 with double flats, they're using over here, obviously they're going to probably climb to that seam streak, or they're going to have to at least respect the drag that's coming underneath it now what you're going to see is these there's no yellow zone over here right so you can inside pass lead that just like that and then if they're if their zone drops aren't um you know let's say for example that you know you've got oh let's say we're going mike blitz three and we're going to go with a mabel but we're going to run cover two if you will on this other side well what you're going to notice with this tight end corner and i like to go ahead and just simply smart route it but what you're going to notice is you're going to see this streak is wide open and then also if they're just kind of lackadaisical with their adjustments you could potentially hit that corner route as well if everything breaks down you still have uh one of my favorite concepts in the game in the fact that we have this concept 
on the back side. So if they if they catch you here, notice that you still have this drag to check down to as well. Um, if anything, if you if you really need to, um, another thing that you can do, if you want to, out of curl flat, is you could simply streak Godwin, leave the curl flat concept on the field in case you're worried that you might need it. And then as you can see here, everything gets cleared out and you can check down to that curl route. So all in all, just a phenomenal passing concept that can literally obliterate any defense in this game. So that being said, I want to thank you for watching the video. And I want to remind you that if you want to get this entire ebook or if you want to get all of my ebooks for the price of just $10 a month to get you everything at the Patreon membership, sign up for the Patreon. There will be a link in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. And if you want to join the Patreon, head on down to the description and click that link below.